What's up everyone and welcome back. Today, we're exploring how researchers test the limits of Google's Gemini AI through a process called jailbreaking. It's all about bypassing the built-in safety measures to see how the AI responds. This video is informed by controlled experiments from All About AI, who tested these methods to assess Gemini's vulnerabilities. But first, a major disclaimer. Attempting to jailbreak AI can violate terms of service, lead to account suspension, and has serious legal and ethical risks. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Google spends millions on AI safety, but researchers have identified several ways to disguise prompts and test the system's defenses. Let's break down all eight techniques tried and tested by All About AI. Text prompt method, narrative framing, embed a restricted question within a fictional story or simulation to see if context can trick the AI's filters. Chapter two, flanking attack. Hide a sensitive question in the middle of harmless ones to exploit how the AI prioritizes information. Three, forbidden question sets. Stress test the model by hitting it with a wide range of prohibited prompts, like hypothetical illegal activities, to check for policy consistency. Four, prompt injection chains. Break a sensitive query into smaller, innocent steps. Then prompt the AI to combine them, testing if it can track context across multiple messages. Five, jailbreak token substitution. Use obfuscation. Swap out forbidden words with symbols, emojis, or code words to test if moderation relies on simple keyword matching. Six, role reversal testing. Flip the script. Instead of asking how to do something harmful, ask how to prevent it. Testing if the AI can tell the difference between malicious versus protective intent. Seven, policy puppetry. Format the prompt like a system configuration file using JSON or XML with roleplay elements to fool the AI into thinking it's executing a system level command. 8. Developer mode prompt manipulation. Frame your input like a developer level command to simulate a fake developer mode with fewer restrictions. The team at All About AI tested these methods and found success rates ranging from 40% to 75% in controlled experiments, proving that complex techniques can sometimes bypass baseline security. But remember, Google is constantly updating its safety protocols, making these loopholes short-lived. So while these techniques are fascinating, trying them can lead to account suspension, unexpected errors, even data loss. Google's policies are clear. Trying to circumvent safety filters is prohibited and may result in your account being closed. Instead of breaking the rules, consider these safer and ethical alternatives. Advanced prompt engineering, using official developer APIs, exploring open source models that allow safe experimentation. These methods let you customize AI in power ways without crossing ethical or legal lines. Ultimately, the research from All About AI shows a never-ending cat-and-mouse game between AI developers and red team researchers. As models get smarter, so do their safety features. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into AI. Stay safe and stay curious. See you next time.